I think it's probably more than just important, it's essential these days. It's, it's so uh, such a central feature of doing business and understanding it and how to measure it and manage it. It's an interesting one. I think this is probably one of the biggest challenges for CFOs today. The reason I say that is that most CFOs are of a certain age. Let's say, for the sake of argument, they're in their 40s or their 50s because they've gone through the traditional career path. And when you're training and stuff, when you're back in your sort of 20s and you're progressing through your career, you're not really exposed. Technology was an enabler in, in those days, in the 80s and the 90s. It was much more of an enabler and businesses were a lot more about sort of making products and distributing them and marketing them and so on and so forth. And the technology industry and the pace of the technology industry has come along very, very fast. It's created new competition, new markets, new businesses that we wouldn't have dreamt of 20 or so years ago. And the most capital expenditure these days that businesses spend is in fact not in buildings or plant or equipment, the traditional use of capital equipment, but most capital expenditure is in software development. And I'm hand on the heart. When it comes to software, my understanding of software is pretty scant. I mean, it's getting better. So first of all, as a CFO, it's much easier to understand the value of a building that you might be building, what it might be doing, but understand whether is it appropriate to buy that technology or is it better to rent it and enter into a commercial arrangement? How good is that software? Is it doing what you want it to do? It's very, very difficult if you're not completely familiar with technology to form that, a real assessment on that. So I think point one is that you're relying on third party experts an awful lot more in that assessment of technology than you probably were in, when looking at traditional capital expenditure, when intuitively you could form an opinion. Um, I think then there comes the point of how do you measure the performance out of it and how do you do investment appraisal on software? That's a tricky exercise as well. Are you paying, if you're paying 100 million pounds, well, could you be paying 10, for example? And that's very difficult to, to, to calculate. And then you're looking at, well, how do you account for it properly as well? And is it appropriate to capitalise that spend? Or should, should you be putting it through your profit and loss account? Um, it, it's, you know, it's something that is, you know, you can be creating a, a sort of monster for yourself. You're building it up on your balance sheet to be amortised later, and yet you see that the value isn't really there. So there's a big debate over sort of capitalisation versus expenses you incur. And then added to that is just the the opportunity and or the threat that technology brings with it, in that it is moving so fast. You know, now uh, using a cloud type of infrastructure is 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 commonplace and accepted wisdom. Five years ago, that was there were huge risks attached to that, um, but now it's a case of which cloud provider do you go to, and and what sort of security do you put in place, and how do you satisfy international regulations and so on, and, and data privacy all of those sort of complications. Then you've got the competition side of technology as well, that there are businesses being created in a very short space of time that are changing whole business models. You think of how we book hotel rooms, how we book a taxi these days, online auctions that take place, how we buy our music, how we buy our films, all changed and, and complete industries have had to change as a consequence of those changes in technology. So. You know, in a snapshot, I've tried to capture all the issues that attach with it. It's so important. It's, for me, it's my number one priority is understanding technology better and how to measure it and manage it and sort of be a part of the technology revolution, so to speak, that's, that's been taking place for a while and just accelerates.